All right, so it's your boy Chris. Don't worry about the next, because it's your boy Chris with the next. And real quick, I just want to talk about the Kanika Jenkins situation again. All right, so if you don't like my commentary, if you don't like what I'm saying, you can click the X button, or you're gonna get blocked. You know, because I speak from all types of aspects. I speak from all types of point of views and angles. You know, for this, um, the situation to me is just, um, real crazy. It's just, um, devastating. It's been a long time. We still ain't got no answers. You know, a lot of people have been doing a lot of videos about it. Very insightful. You know, and my thing is, the hotel, one of the girls worked there, the, the hotel's crazy. They know something about it. That's why people protesting. You know, I don't want the situation to go unnoticed because that freezer has uh, several different interests. For that small hotel, you got a freezer that has several different interests. They only need one. And then to <clears throat> that video, there probably is going to be no video of her walking into the freezer because they have no footage of her walking to the freezer. And that video that they did have was edited you know because Kanika is skin skinny that girl was thick and you can't blow up in one day or even a couple of days drinking no alcohol and I don't think she was drunk somebody roofied her and even if you because if she was drunk she wouldn't have been walking around you're gonna chill out like that girl said you're gonna chill out you know I've been around people I've, even myself you know if you if you get too much to drink, you gonna get you gonna get dizzy. Eventually, you are gonna sit down and you probably will knock out because alcohol is antidepressant. So you are gonna knock out. You know she was not drunk. She was roofy. That security guard, whoever was there, he probably uh, saw her getting um, handled. Then he wanted a piece of the action. That's probably why he he probably didn't. You know touch her at first because he probably figured somebody was looking for her then when she got further apart then that's probably when he saw nobody was looking for her and he probably did made his move on her and they put her in that freezer and how and they only and the mother is and the daughter only seen her from the neck up and they said her hair was messed up and her hair was bone straight when they saw her in that video uh the real parts of the video somebody was leading her on they was leading so she was following somebody and then they just put them reenactments in there got an actor and put them reenactments there to try to cover it up but as people we deciphered it i guess they thought we were some dumb niggas that was just meant to go on with whatever you say no you know no i'm not even concerned about the you know the parenting of K kanika because a lot of people saying she was ratchet the mama ratchet sitting on the dick and all that you know that's not my concern right now you know no necessarily i would not be doing that if i had a child but you know that's our least concern right now our main concern is we want answers you know and the friends i don't know they may no friends irene jumping on um doing a, a FaceTime live. I don't know what she even did that for, knowing people don't even like her. I don't know if she, they probably sold, they did sell her to some niggas. But now, I don't know, like the situation is just crazy. And this is why you cannot um, be trusting everybody. Kanika seemed like she was just a chill person. You know, she wasn't perfect. I'm not saying nobody's perfect, but she seemed like she was just a chill person. And she wasn't going there for that. But, the, you know, you got jealous people who secretly don't like you. Or if they trying to get at somebody that... They trying to get at somebody that, that they like and that person may not like them. So, that person may like you. So, you got shady people who will just set you up. I've been around, you know, people who talk about, oh, we, <laughs> we best friends and all that. And uh, for all the people that's doing the Irene challenge and the Kanika challenge, you need to stop because 
this is why that's why black lives matter is a laughing joke because now you're out here making challenges and stuff and these people out here that already want to hide the information they're gonna see stuff like that and think oh well you know <laughs> these niggas trying to make a joke out of it no i know y'all is trying to disrespect irene and i get it i do get it but now it's not really the time for that when we trying to get some real information and i don't know if we will get any real information but we they know we on to something they already know that <laughs> we know it's some foul play and something does not add up there's a lot of stuff that don't add up you know like i said i'm not really concerned about the parenting of Kanika Jenkins or whatever, you know, no teenager is perfect, nobody is perfect, you know, but like I said, she did not deserve to die, to die like that, or nobody in this generation, or nobody in general, because we live in a generation that's very desensitized, you know, or you got people out here, you know, you can't call everybody your best friend, because I've been around people who say, oh yeah, we best friends, we best friends and stuff, and then once they get apart, they be like, Oh, well, you know, we ain't real best friends. We don't even go nowhere together. Or all we do is drink. You know, just because you drink with somebody, or just because you hang out with somebody, you know, you need to really analyze people and stop giving people the friend, the friend title because everybody ain't your friend. And life is not a field trip. You don't need a bunch of people on your bus, bus to, you know, to F with you. Stop letting social media, you know, big up y'all heads like that, you know. Got a lot of people who want some sneaky stuff, or they may be trying to get with you and you ain't trying to, you know, do nothing like that. Because the one thing about niggas is that uh, these dudes in this generation, some of them will get some action, but they ain't gonna tell you how they got that action. And I just, for now, I just seen a video on media takeout where this girl was, you know, pissed drunk, and these friends that she was with, all these dudes she was with, just chilling there. They took her her pants off, and of course they you know they had their way with her, you know. So you can't be getting you know you got to know your surroundings and don't get being you know drunk to the point where you don't know where you at. And this is just speaking in general, not just for like Kanika Jenkins because I believe she was roofie, but I'm just saying in general, you know can't be calling everybody your friends i know a lot of people they do get mad at me for like talking about you know real stuff but you can't like she said you can't finesse the truth you can finesse a lie because a lie is made up but the truth is in your face and i'd rather you know somebody tell me i'm walking on thin ice than lie to me and tell me i'm walking on ice as thick as the everglades you know not everybody's supposed to be in your circle like that. Not everybody's supposed to be knowing your business like that. None of that. So you really just got to analyze people. Because some people, they don't care about your life. You could just drop dead any second. And they'd be like, oh well. And they'll just keep going on about their business. This is what generation we live in. This is why all these natural disasters is happening. Because of all the evil that's just going on. You know, people have no regard for nobody else's life. It's real crazy. You know. Yeah. She probably did have some. You know. You probably do have secret stalkers. When you. You know. Posting your butt all on social media. You know. I'm not against. You could do artistic stuff. But. You know. Just to get stuff for likes. Just to get stuff for people. To like your body. You know. You, you can attract the wrong energy. And when you turn it up. You can't just turn up with any, anybody because you could turn up missing. You could, you know, like I said, a lot of people on some sneaky stuff. So that's just my take. Comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next on some real ish. Peace.